Hi there, it's Grandma and it's story time. Today I have a story called Double Puppy Trouble. It's about a girl named Moxie and she wants more, more, more. And it's a rhyming book. Hello there, my friend. Are you ready to meet someone spunky, ambitious, and playfully sweet? She craved big adventures to learn and to grow. Here she is, the unstoppable Miss Moxie Joe. She liked to climb trees and compete in most sports, give cuddles, solve puzzles, play games of all sorts. It's clear that she had a bright future in store. The problem with Moxie? She had to have more. More game-winning goals, more cookies and books, more bracelets and trinkets, and everyone looks. More height on the tree and more time on the swing, more A's on her test. But there was one more thing. If she didn't have the most dolls and the most A's, the tallest block towers and game-winning plays, or if Clark, her young brother, broke one of her toys, she'd stomp and she'd cry and she'd make so much noise. Stop, Moxie Joe, her mom said with a shout. Nobody's perfect, but things will work out. Now I have to help Dad, so please don't make this hard. If you need us, we'll be in the back of the yard. Some days she felt happy and others so sad. Some days she felt giddy and others so mad. Her feelings confused her through and through. Instead of one girl, perhaps she was two. Whatever, she huffed as she walked out the door. If there's two of me, all the reason for more. And I want more, 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 more. Then what did she see? Gee, look what she found. An odd little stick there, just stuck in the ground. Two branches came out and then split into two. She wondered, now, what does this big button do? I did that myself. Could it really be? That I can make twins of whatever I see? Moxie doubled some bubbles, toy trucks, and a shoe. She doubled a cute little ladybug, too. But then, when she pointed the wand at a flower, she happened upon an incredible power. She held in that button and didn't let go. And doubles kept doubling and doubling. Whoa! Every five seconds, they doubled again. In just 20 seconds, she had more than 10. First one, then two, then four, then eight. Now 16 and 32. This is so great!
She loved her new power, the power of more, more toys and more books and more than before. Sixty-four cookies and puzzles and cars, 128 bracelets with stars, 256 blocks reaching high, out through the window and into the sky. And then Moxie stopped. She stopped in, in her tracks. I know what to do. Make a double of Max. She felt super smart. No more sharing to do. No two puppies means there's one for me and for you. First two, then four. And then there were eight. I'm not pressing the button. What's happening? Wait! The button was stuck. Well, this could be troubling. Those cute little puppies kept doubling and doubling. Then 16 sweet puppies, and next, 32. Miss Moxie's jaw dropped and her little eyes grew. The puppies were doubling now faster and faster. It seemed she was in for a major disaster. They ate all the cookies and crashed all the cars. They chewed up the bracelets with sparkling blue stars. They tore up the books and they broke all the toys. Their cute little barking made so much noise. Now 64 puppies each wanted a hug. 128 nibbled the rug. The number of pups exponentially grew. They each multiplied times a factor of two. Two hundred and fifty-six scampered around, chasing each other and sniffing the ground. Five hundred and twelve? There's not enough space. Some of the puppies dash out of the place, straight out of the house and then into the mud. They turned on the hose and created a flood. One thousand and twenty-four puppies galore. But what if this dick doesn't stop making more? One minute from now, if the space pace keeps up, that's over a million of our little pup. Wait, look at the house. What's happening here, there? She ran back inside to find pups everywhere. More puppies in every last room of the house, some wearing dad's ties and even mom's blouse. More sliding down banisters, climbing the walls, or riding on roller skates, cruising the halls. Some pups on the couch and some taking a bath. Other pups with a book, perhaps doing math. Their sweet muddy paws were all over their stuff. I mean, they were cute, but enough is enough.
What will I do? They're ripping the leather. I don't know, sis, but we'll do it together. Her brother, young Clark, always got in her way, but something was changing for Moxie that day. She noticed her brother like never before, with a fire in his eyes and a mop on the floor. Clark was ready to help her, and with, when with any chore, her heart filled with more and more and more. Remember how Clark often broke Moxie's things, like lamps and her dolls and her airplane red wings? He tripped on a pup and, oops, stumbled and fell. Clark broke that big stick and then broke the spell. Woohoo! Moxie was suddenly grateful for less. Now all that was left was to clean up the mess. When their parents walked in and they, they knew something was wrong, but were happy to see their kids getting along. That sister and brother had learned some new powers. When working together, they built taller towers baked even more cookies, got parents to bend, like adopting a puppy so Max had a friend. Did Moxie Jo ever still wish she had more? Did she wish she had every toy in the store? Did she ever get really mad at her brother, have plenty of cookies, but still want another? The answer is yes, but not quite so often. Little Miss Moxie had learned how to soften. She knew the best feelings didn't come from more stuff. It turns out that Moxie had more than enough. The end. Well, that was kind of a math book with all that doubling and doubling. I hope you enjoyed the story. Prima loves you.